Hello friends, good to see you again through this video. Today I wanted to talk about this question. Is it possible not to exaggerate the shortcomings of others and show mercy to them? Now when we talk about shortcomings, right, or weaknesses or mistakes, we all go through that in our life. We all do some mistakes. We all have some shortcomings which get exposed at some time. So when, uh, when a person's shortcoming is exposed to you, right, so how do you handle it? How do you confront it? Because many times we are not uh, willing to confront uh, the people because of their shortcoming for one reason, because we fear that uh, it may hurt our relationship with them, right? For example, if my close friend is doing something that is wrong from a biblical perspective or that is something which I don't agree, uh, I, I'm, I feel like hesitant to uh, confront him because I'm not sure how he's going to take that. Like, you know, I may feel like uh, uh, I may be afraid whether he'll get offended because I say that or I feel like, you know, this will break my relationship with him like that. Many times we we stop ourselves in confronting uh, such kind of shortcoming or mistakes. But instead, what we do, we tend to talk about that person's mistake or shortcomings with others. Right. See, that is where it gets even more worse because instead of confronting him or instead of going and talking to him to see whether he needs any help to come out of that situation or why he has been forced to do such kind of a mistake or a shortcoming what i am doing i am trying to exaggerate it and trying to blow blow it out of proportion by by talking about that to other people right because what will happen it will spread as a rumor and eventually it damages the reputation of that particular person so today my dear friends we are asked, we are called to be the imitators of Christ, right? Imagine what the Lord did to you and me because we lived in our sinful life. We were also once upon a time living in that kind of a low, low level life where God came and searching for us and out of his mercy and grace, he sent his son to die on the cross. Jesus gave up his life so that you and I can be free from our sins. You, you and I can be delivered from that guilt so that we don't have condemnation because we live in Christ Jesus, right? So if Jesus had, a, if Jesus would have thought, no, no, they did something wrong. I'm going to exaggerate it or they have to face the consequences for what they have done. Today, you and I, we might not even sustain in this world because there are so many shortcomings and mistakes that we have committed. But in spite of that, it is the grace and the mercy of God that is that keeps forgiving us and that keeps sustaining us in this world. So today the question before you and me is, when we also encounter such situation in our life, are we going to expose the weakness of other people or are we going to try to cover them and see how we can show mercy to them in that situation and how we can help them to really come out of the situation? Because that is exactly what the Lord wants you and me to do. So today I wanted to share a story from the Bible where we can understand more about this particular topic that we are talking today. If you read in the book of Genesis chapter 9 verse 20 to 27, right? So I'll give a background what's happening here. It is about Noah's family. You know, Noah and his family, they have been saved from the flood right because God asked them to build that ark so he kept them inside the ark and when the flood was completely over God asked them to go and multiply this world you know multi get multiplied in the world and he asked them to cultivate and you know he said be stay blessed so it is at that time Noah is planting a vineyard we see if you read in Genesis chapter 9 verse 20 it says Noah began to be the man of the soil and he planted a wine vineyard he he drank of the wine and became drunk and lay uncovered in his tent. So what happened? Because he drank too much of wine, he lost his sense, right? He, and he became so unconscious and he was like lying in his tent as a naked man now. So what happens now? Him, the father of Canaan, him is the third son, the, 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 the youngest son of Noah. Noah had three sons. So he came and he saw the nakedness of his father and he told his two brothers outside. See, this is the most important, this is a most profound verse that we can think about it today, that we can really, you know, uh, uh, put our thought process. So what did him do? He saw his father was naked, right? So instead of covering his 
father by, with a cloth or something he went and told this two brothers outside so just think about what we are doing today when we see somebody doing a mistake or when we see somebody has a shortcoming or weakness are we like him on that day who went outside and told about his father's nakedness to other brothers so are we like him and then what these two brothers who heard from him they did then shame and japheth they were the two uh, brothers took a garment laid it on both their shoulders and walked backward and covered the nakedness of their father their fa- faces were turned backward and they did not see their father's nakedness see compare uh, shame and japheth with ham right so ham was somebody who saw the nakedness and he went outside and told about it right but what did uh, shame and japheth did they took a garment they didn't even want to see the nakedness of their father instead they they turned their face backwards and they covered the father's nakedness with garment so today my dear friends we have two choices in life when we are exposed to somebody else someone's mistake or someone's shortcoming we have this two option one we can be critical about them and we can pass on their comments we can pass uh, their information and we can keep talking about them to others that is one way of dealing with them right which god does not want to do but on other way how shame and jaffa did that the, did the other day right that is how god wants you and me to do today because he doesn't want us to expose their weakness but rather than first try to cover it you know try to see how you can be helpful for them to overcome their weakness and how you can be helpful in that situation so that they realize what they are like you know they realize okay how they have done this and how they can come out of that situation that is what the lord wants you and me to do because we eventually see when noah woke up he knew that his younger son has uh, has like done this you know he cursed him right and on the other side he blessed the other two sons and he really you know was happy by the way what they did see that is how people will feel like you know when we try to cover them and when we try to help them even though they have done some mistake or like uh, you know they have done something wrong that is when they realize the true love you know true love is all about how you neglect how or how you set aside the mistakes and shortcomings that they have done but still you are able to show mercy upon them you know today you may have some issues with your maybe your brother or sister maybe some a colleague at your work or maybe a close friend or a believer at church you know there may be so many instances in our life where we may be dealing this kind of a situation so how are we going to deal are we going to deal with that grace and mercy or are we going to be critical and going to really talk about them or going to gossip about them with other people that is how that is what the lord sees in your life and my life so how are we going to deal are we going to be imitators of christ because jesus christ gave a wonderful passage on how to deal with the mistakes of others if you read in matthew chapter 18 verses from 15 16 17 he is giving four option, options here right the first option he says if your brother or sister sins against you go and tell to him or her his fault her fault between you and him or her alone which means the lord wants to have a one to one talk when a person is doing something wrong against us the lord says try to get the courage you know be courageous and go and have a one to one talk with them you know many times this is where we we are afraid because as i said in the beginning we are afraid that people may reject us people may break our relationship or people people may get offended if you are going to go one to one and talk about a situation or talk about a matter concerning them but god says that is the best approach because he says if he or she listens to you you have gained your brother you have gained your sister says the lord see that is the f- best approach the lord says and that is the best option he leaves us and then he says if they don't abide with that if they don't agree on that option but if he does not listen 
take one or two others along with you maybe common friends people who know you know uh, who know both of us like like for example myself and the person who i'm going to talk right there may be some common friends or common uh, you know uh, uh, like relatives friends or colleagues workers other believers so we have to have two or three people in common who can uh, you know uh, uh, initiate a discussion and dialogue so that we can settle that matter so that every charge may be established by the evidences of two or three witnesses and if he re- refuses to listen to them the third chan- now the third option comes tell it to the church so now the lord wants to take that matter to a larger gathering so first he said one to one then he said take a group of people and f- third he says okay then bring the matter to the church or bring a matter to the large gathering so that uh, at least they'll know like you know what is the right decision to be made but even then if a person refuses then let him do as a gentile and like a tax collector what he says is then he is out of your purview you don't need to worry about that person i'll take care of that person then the judgment belongs to the lord so today it is very very clear how the lord wants you and me to deal with a person's shortcoming right or with a person's weakness or with a person's offenses so are we really doing that way you know it from a human perspective many times it sounds very difficult for us but with the grace of the lord with the love of the lord in our heart we can definitely imitate christ imitate jesus christ through our life so that people who have done mistake against us or people who have shortcomings exposed before us they can also feel loved you know we can express that unconditional love we can express that love and mercy and grace upon them so that they will also be you know they, they they will also feel the love of god through us because you and i we are called to be the ambassadors for christ which means through us the lord wants to reveal his love the lord wants to shine his light upon others so when we allow ourselves to do that what happens the glory of god will penetrate through our lives and it will impact others also and that is why my dear friends today the challenge before you and me is when we are exposed to the shortcomings of other people when we are exposed to the weakness of other people are we going to exaggerate that and try to make a gossip out of it or on the other hand like jesus did to us are we going to show them the mercy are we going to be gracious to them and see how we can help them to come out of that mess or how we can help them to come overcome that situation so when we ask the lord to give us the strength to do his do it in his way definitely he will strengthen us and he will guide us may the lord bless this word you all have a blessed and a happy day god bless you